Welcome back to Limbus Company Daily Mirror Dungeon. Um, I've got a little funny idea planned for this next week. There's roughly seven days, give or take, until um, Canto 4 gets released in Season 2. So I figured, why don't I try doing a week of um, sin builds? Wrath today, lust tomorrow, and so on like that. Basically, my plan is I'm going to try only using people that have, well, primary skill of that type of sin. And we're gonna see how far I can push it, see what I can manage to get off by building around color for once. Oh, and perversion, what a great way to start this. Gain more ego resources if using wrath stuff. Okay, so, from what I've checked, unless I missed over something, there's a total of six units that have primary skills of wrath. Those being, um, RB Ryoshu, Shidon, Rabbit Heathcliff, Default Ishmael, Blade Lineage Otis, and Liu Gregor. So we'll go for these. No, we'll go for these three. This works. Yeah. So we can get RB Chef. We can get Rabbit. And we can get Liu. Now, when you think of a Wrath, chances are you think of Burn Build. But three out of four of the burn units um only have their tertiary as wrath so they're not good for like wrath builds overall okay yeah i didn't mess anything up but the question then is what egos do we want to go for and i think i mean the obvious answer for that is trying to use fourth match flame as much as possible because if we look at oh i can't look at it right i didn't choose it good job me Okay, well, what do you think about this build so far is we've already got, like, a blunt person, a slash person, and a pierce person, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Already a nice, diverse, um, selection. That guy is still vaguely alive, so we need to, we need to stop that. No more living for this guy. Yeah. I mean, starting out with perversion in this build is really nice, since it'll just... Since how perversion works is if you kill someone with a wrath skill, you gain um, resources equal to the three skills that sinner has. And we're probably going to be killing with wrath skills fairly often, I'd hope. I guess... Mm, should I go for the recruit people spaces? I mean, probably. There's three people I'm looking for out of nine. So there's a chance that I don't get anyone I want, but then I'll just go for someone who's got a secondary of Wrath. There's plenty of people who do have that, so it'll work fine there. Um, yeah, this works. I'm just gonna try and go for as much just the Wrath. If I, can, if I can get a chain of Wrath, I'm gonna go for the Wrath. So that's the entire purpose. Oh, that guy burns to death. Nice. And this guy should just be finished off by Rabbit Heathcliff. I still don't know what... Can I figure out how... When does he put on the mask? Let me look this up, because I'm genuinely confused. With... If he's up to level 2 plus, he will put on his helmet if he's got 5 plus charge. Okay. So if he can, so basically, as long if he can actually activate his passive correctly in a turn, that's when it does it. That makes sense. Because passive, like basically, if you get a his passive's wrath, isn't it? Yeah. If you get like a what is it, like three wrath, like wrath absolute resonance. That's not where I check passives. Yeah, if I get absolute resonance of, or if I just get three resonance of wrath. He gains Wrath Resident Charge Count next turn, but if he has 5 plus charge, he gains Haste and Attack as well. So as long as he's got 5 plus charge, that's when he dons the mask and his voice gets the funny filter. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Limbus Wiki. Okay, let's see, does he have- yeah, he's gonna get- I'll wait to use the Wrath stuff, because... Well, we can go for the full power quick suppression here, so... That's that'll go a little overkill. As uh, you love to see it though. But next turn we'll be able to get um hopefully an absolute resonance of wrath. It really depends on who gets another coin and whether or not it has. Yep, okay. Heathcliff got another coin, but luckily it had to graze the grass ready, so now we can get a nice absolute resonance of this. So we can absolutely demolish this little rat. 
And there he goes. Wrath is really interesting because of the fact that it's the only sin that none of the default identities, um, or none of the default Zayn egos are Wrath. Which is very strange. We've got like, I think we've got like four Pride, but like no Wrath, which is really interesting. Let me think. There, there. Yeah, we've got like four Pride egos, but we don't have a single Wrath one as far as the default 12 go. Which I just find so interesting. Like, you really think someone like Heathcliff or Ishmael would have wrath? I'm pretty sure Ishmael's does require wrath, and Heathcliff's might. No, it's lust and envy. Does this one? Oh, this one requires wrath. Yeah, that's it. But it isn't actually wrath itself. It's lust. Which means that right now, the only Wrath Egos in the game are the 4th Match Flames one. Now, granted, there is, like, a couple of them, so... Fair enough, because we've got the one for Yisong, we've got the one for Ryoshu, and we've got the one for, um... Rodeon. And also, I think there's a Sinclair one that's been shown, but we don't have. Uh, what do we take here? This? Yeah. Sloth, nothing for us. Plead, remove stagger, no thanks. Multi-target skills, we might have some of them. And here we take, um, Blade Lenny Jodas. I feel like I've been taking her, like, a couple times recently, which is interesting, because I still don't really know what she does. <laughs> oh, well. And let's see. This is going to be my last recruit space, so I really might as well go for it. Just so I can make sure I get what I want. But yeah. And so far, I think, I mean, so something we have learned from the Dimension Shredder um, Ego is the fact that the Ego Gift's, like, Sin type does not correspond to the actual type of the Ego, because the Ego Gift was, um, well, it was Gloom for that guy, but this actual, the actual Dimension Shredder Ego is, um, Pride. Which is very interesting to note. Because that means, I mean, what I'm getting at is we know the next battle pass is going to have two Bronze Bull Egos. And the Bronze Bull has its uh, respective Ego Gift is the Crown of Corrine, which is Lust. But I think there's a very decent chance it's going to end up being um, actually just Wrath Egos. Because, I mean, then, I think that would make sense because it is Burn after all. So it would make sense if that's, like, the second, like, type of Wrath Ego we get being the ones from... The Bronze Bull. Or Brass Bull? Bronze Bull? What is it? Is it Brass? I know it's based on the, like, torture contraption thing from, like, Ancient Greece or Ancient Rome. One of the two. I don't remember whether it's Bronze or Brass, though. Um, I mean, we don't really benefit from anyone here. Um, who do I take, then? I don't know. I'll take... I think... You've got, like, a passive that's, like, Wrath, don't you? Yeah, attack and protection to that. I have close HP. Sure, we'll take you, and we're not going to use you, but we'll take you. Yeah, we're forced to take a heal here. That's fine. But yeah, today we're. I mean, today is yeah. Technically, is a week away from um, Canto Four now, which is very much exciting. I look forward to it. It's, it's gonna be good. That's for sure. And so far we know of... Well, we've seen four of the Egos, but we know five of the Egos coming on the Battle Pass. And I have a feeling that, like, some of the ones that they haven't shown yet are because of the fact they're gonna be relevant to the actual, like, dungeon and stuff. Whatever Abnos we fight there. Because so far we know, um, we know the two Umbrella Fox egos, the one for Yi Song that's gonna be like the focus and probably like the level 60 reward, and the one for um, Otis. I think it's gonna be a case where the Yi Song one looks like it's gonna be a, a he, and the oh, or we haven't even seen it, but it's probably gonna be he because it's the focus one, and the Otis one's probably just gonna be like a Teth because it doesn't look too fancy, and then the two Bronze Bulls, hopefully those are Teth. Because I don't really want to have to replace Pursuance or Ardor Blossom Star. 
since they for Mersault and um, Otis, respectively. No, that's not right. Murtis and Ish... Murtis? What am I saying? Mersault and Ishmael, respectively. And I feel like... And I don't really like either of their Teths particularly, so I'd be fine with them being replaced. And then, of course, we're getting the Centipede for Gregor, which is going to be a he almost certainly. And it looks like it's going to be really good. I mean, I say that like we've actually... We don't know anything about how they actually are going to work. And I don't even think we're going to be told how they're going to work. We're just gonna have to see. We'll have to see when they're added to the game, which is Jeez, not I'm too far away that. right now. Let's see. I think there's a decent chance we get an ego for either the Blubbering Toad or KQE, since they they're the since they're the only two Abnos that we've fought, but we don't have ego for. I think. We might get egos for the, like, like the, the something there, everything there, whatever they call it. The nothing there aberration type thing that they're using in um the Canto 3 dungeon. I feel like that would be, like, a given on Gregor, but who knows? They might give it for, like, Sinclair or something. Based on the Season 1 Battle Pass, chances are everyone's going to get at least one ego. And if so, that means we don't know what we're getting for Faust, Dawn, Ryoshu, Honglu, um, Heathcliff, Sinclair. Yeah, those guys. So we'll see what they're going to do about that. <laughs> And of course, I do wonder which. I'm, I'm, I'm buying the battle pass. That's a, that's a given. There's no way I wouldn't. Interesting to see which ones are going to be free and which ones are going to be paid. And also, I wonder what announcers we're going to be getting. Oh, I didn't even. Oh, I thought you were level 20 already. I don't know why I didn't level you up. Because now we can get the fourth match flame. How nice. And this, sure. And there's Prejudice. A little bit of healing. Love to see it. Yeah. Um, what I was saying was, I do wonder what announcers we're going to be getting. Almost certainly Yi Song, and probably either Rodion or Sinclair, I'd guess. Probably Rodion, since they those two have had their chapters already, but they don't actually have any announcer voice as of yet. These guys are all weak to wrath. Excellent. Oh no, you gotta... You do that, you do that. Um, and... Well, that's definitely not gonna kill that guy, so you do that. There we go. Might kill all of them. Gregor might actually not win the clash, though, so... We'll see how that goes. If he does, I think there's a... De mm, I don't know, he's only, he's only got two coins of that attack. That guy's... I mean, this guy... He's got 100 HP, though, so I guess, yeah, Heathcliff doesn't kill quite. Oof. Okay. At least did some damage to that guy. Yeah, these two are both, like, on the brink of being staggered. Where does it show the stagger threat? Oh, yeah, you can see it there, I think. I don't know why there isn't a better way to see the stagger threshold. The only way you can see it... Oh, there we go. No, you can see it there. I'm just being stupid. Yeah, if you hover over it, you'll see it on the HP bar. Don't know why it doesn't show if you, like, click on this or... Stuff like that, but you can see that they are very close to death. And this should finish it off. Yeah, I've got some one set attack setting for this guy. But even then, like, we've got the clashes too, which is, yeah, that's enough. Excellent. And what do we take here? Pride or Pierce doesn't help us. I mean, probably the moth. It's lust focused, but it's still, it's still good even if we don't have anything. Hmm. What do we take here? Sinclair's definitely got some wrathy stuff. So I'll take him. I guess we're just gonna stick with Mersault then. Yeah. 
Probably, unless there's something here that I think synergies well. You've got a tertiary. Uh, if at least this speed is more blunt, you don't have much. You've got this. That's not good, though. Blade Lineage has it as secondary, I think. Yeah. Um, I mean, is your passage pride, though? Yeah, yeah. So we'll take you for the passive, I think. Yes. And we will actually start using Mersault. So not everyone having primary, but close enough. We're still going to have plenty of wrath this run. Whoop. Hopefully that isn't picking up on my mic. I don't think so. Okay, yeah. Dog, dog barking. That's all there is to it. Oh yeah, this is just based on Wrath own. Hmm. Luckily, we're getting gonna get more pride now, so we'll actually be able to use that ego fairly frequently. I'd hope. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, if we can't get a Wrath Chain going, then try to... Or you still do that, because otherwise you're going to lose that Clash failure. And, um... We can get Pride. Yeah, focus on getting a little bit of Pride, just so we can get, um... Ryoshu fourth match flame going. Since that's a really fun one. Every fourth attack gaining four power and inflicting burn. Every fourth skill, I guess I should say. It's not like individual. It's not every fourth coin. It's just every fourth skill played. Which is rather silly. Very reminiscent of um, 13th Toll from Limbus and how it just adds a stupid amount of power to every 13th attack. And of course, it's very. It's supposed to be reminiscent of She Association's heavy focus on. Ooh, Wrath stuff. On number four. Um, healing, especially with Wrath attacks? Yeah, absolutely. We're never going to die at this rate. Oh, and we get this. This is actually not bad. We've got a lot of people with Lust, so we'll take the Ring. Um, is there any guarantees? No, but this is close enough to being guaranteed, yeah. Yeah, so it'll buff someone who's got Lust, and I think everyone's got Lust except for these two. So just a little nice bonus then. All there is to it. This means just I mean just thirty percent damage up on someone each turn. Yeah, thirty percent damage up. I didn't know if it was damage or offense level up, but yeah, it sure is damage up. Okay, we can get a three chain of that going. Decent enough. I can cook anything. This guy resists the slash, but this still does a stupid amount of damage. Yeah, it still left him on 3 HP. And I think that guy has another attack coming for him. Oh, yes. He sure did. And now he's dead. Okay, we can get another chain off this turn. And we can get us some... I mean, actually get a 6 plus speed quick suppression off. Thanks to being able to actually inflict... Being able to use Raring the Grace so much is so nice. Just that guaranteed haste every turn. Or more or less guaranteed haste every turn. Just means that he's going to have high enough speed in order to actually trigger his effect. Wrath isn't bad for that purpose. It's amazingly that, like... It's a bit hard to use a lot of egos with Wrath, because there's not very many that use Wrath as of right now. And sure, Otis can get the level. Ebony stem... And we can level up a bunch more people here. So we can get Mersault to 20, and then we can get our good units up to 25. You. And you. Excellent. Event. Um, This does nothing for us. Might as well take the rose, though. Sure, this will work. Crown of Roses, inflict Rupture on a random enemy. Just one enemy takes four extra damage each turn. Just, just the little things help. 
Even if it doesn't synergize with the current build at all. Okay, we can get a little bit of a chain off this turn. Trigger the railing to graze. To graze. And unfortunately, because he's not actually using his wrath skill, he's not going to have enough charge to activate the effect here. But he'll still he'll still gain the charge. He'll gain the what is it three charge? How much does he? Yeah, three charge because it's gain wrath resonance charge count next next turn, so it doesn't even go down by one. That's nice. And now we can do a little bit of this. That's a neutral. Um, it should be fine though. I'm not too worried. No. This is a kill, I think. Is there passive trigger? No, we didn't have enough lust. Makes sense. There's so many lust passives, I feel, just because of how heavily the end corp and the, um, and the RB stuff leans into lust for passives. Oh. And this'll finish it. That's nice. Victory. One more fight, and then the boss. And who gets the level up? You do. Okay. Everything is still looking good. I really need to change the, my loading screen background one of these days. I just don't know what to change it to. I think the one that's been on for the past while is pretty funny. Okay, we can get a chain off and an annihilate heretics. This is a weaker cat. It's a weaker quick suppression, but it'll do. There's something in my eye. I'm just gonna not look at the screen for a second while I try and get this out and hope that nothing goes horribly wrong. I think I got it out, and it looks like things have not gone horribly wrong. In fact, they've gone rather well looking at that corpse. We can use that. There's no reason to use that right now, though. We'll just try and use that so we can... This way we'll have pride to start with a fourth match flame uh, to, for the boss. Which is nice because then we can get that funny four passive rolling early. Of course it doesn't do much damage, but her wrath attack wouldn't have done much more. It would have done less probably. Also being slash related, but just a weaker attack. Kind of slowly whittling these guys down with our attacks. They're both staggered, and we've got a lot of wrath we can use right now. So we might as well. Yep, one down. Because we're killing with wrath, we're triggering perversion. And getting a bunch of resources, and not just wrath. Which means we'll have a lot of resources to go into this fight. Be able to use a couple egos. You know how it is. And we'll level up you, Otis, and stay at 20. That's fine. And final boss time. Golden Apple. This guy's weak to wrath, isn't he? Yeah. I was like, wait a second. And he sure is. Well then, let's just... Wrath him up. We'll save the egos for the second phase, I think. Oh, did I not use all of them? Did I not? I thought I did. I think I just misclicked there and moved on thinking it worked. Oh, well, it happens. Well, luckily, Heathcliff's just going to gain five charge next turn, isn't he? Yeah, because of the five Wrath Resonance. So he'll just straight up be able to trigger his passive. Assuming we can get enough Wrath off next turn. We might not be able to because we're using all our Wrath this turn. Oh, yep, there's the stagger. So next turn, we might as well just use whatever. Stick to the weaker stuff, build up ego resources. Oh yeah, we've got barely any wrath here. That's fine. This is the, the turn we waste our weaker attacks on. Build up some resources of the non-wrath things, since we can't kill this guy, so we might as well bail on him with our worse attacks. Yeah, I think we've been killing enemies so fast, we haven't had, like, any ammo issues on Rabbit Heathcliff at all. 
And I don't think that's going to change here. He only spends like two or three ammo a turn and he starts at 13. So really it would take like six turns or something for him to actually have issues if he wasn't gaining more spots. I think, is the body weak to Slash? Yeah, the body's weak to Slash and Wrath. So going for this is um going to do a little bit. going to have a little bit of an effect, if I do say so myself. And we can get full wrath resonance going. So this fourth match flame is going to be a little good. No! Oh, the, the sanity drain from using the ego causer to get its tails. This would have been so good. It's still going to be a lot of damage, but it could have been so much more. Like, look at 63 damage on a tails. It would have done, like, double that if she got the heads. Uh, that's unfortunate. It happens, though. Kind of the downside of egos, you can't really reasonably get like consistent heads or tails, depending on which one you want, because of the sanity drain. And all right, we're still doing plenty of this guy. We'll probably just be able to use fourth match flame again here. We don't have enough pride, so we can't. Hmm, a little bit unfortunate then. Well, we can just kind of go all out on the body and finish it off. Going for all of our strongest attacks. Body sack's going to do a little bit here. Nice. He'll get that attack power up next turn in case this guy somehow manages to survive. Which he's not going to because we've still got I can cook anything coming for him. Which is gonna do a lot, I think. Yeah. Yeah. 212 on like a normal tertiary attack that doesn't have any sort of like special requirements. That's That's perfectly normal damage. God. And yeah, she did the most. No shock there. Rabbit Heath wasn't too far behind, but everyone else was far behind. Not really shocking there. Yeah, we got we got pretty lucky starting with Perversion. I don't know how much of an impact it actually made. It's kind of hard to tell. Probably not too much since we used like two egos overall and both of them were against the final guy. And, um, well then, let's just do our daily extraction, see if we can get this Honglu Ego. You can see I've refilled my paid lunacy now. One star. Yep, Ryoshu. And this one. Another one star. Otis this time. And to finish things off for today... Anything? Nope. Another one star. Fine by me. Just, just a nice nine shards overall. Another Otis. Sure. Well, um... Yeah, that'll be all for this time, I think. Thank you for watching. This has been day number one of this uh, week of... The, the sin, sin week, I'll call it. Sin week. Yeah. Wrath day, baby. Wrath on, I guess. Whatever you say. Wh whatever kind of cool witty remarks you can make using wrath. Bye.